Hey guys, I was just doing some research and I found this really interesting article that I wanted to bring to you. And it's in regards to a very interesting necklace that was found in the tomb of Tutankhamun. And in fact, it's a glass beetle, a scarab beetle that is found at the center of a very elaborate necklace. So the article goes on to say King Tut's glass beetle came from outer space. Scientists believe they have solved the mystery surrounding a piece of rare natural glass at the center of an elaborate necklace found amongst the treasures of Tutankhamun, the boy pharaoh. They think a fragile meteorite broke up as it entered the atmosphere, producing a fireball with temperatures over 1800 Celsius that turned the desert sand and rock into molten lava, which became glass when it cooled. Experts have puzzled over the origin of the yellow green glass, carved into the shape of a scarab beetle, since it was excavated in 1922 from the tomb of the teenage king who died about 1323 BC. It is generally agreed that it came from an area called the Great Sand Sea, but there has been uncertainty over how it was formed because there is no crater to back up the idea of a meteorite strike. Now it is thought that the meteorite responsible was not intact, but made up of loose rubble. A fireball moving quicker than a hurricane force would have meant a blast of air so hot it could melt all the sand and sandstone on the ground, said Mark Boslow, an expert on impact physics based at Sandia National Laboratories in New Mexico. He recreated the effect on his computer and found that an object about 390 foot in diameter and traveling at 12.4 miles a second would indeed produce enough heat to melt sand and create glass without leaving a crater as it broke up in the atmosphere. The theory forms the basis of a BBC Two television program, King Tut's Fireball, to be shown next month. It would have become a molten lake of bubbling liquid sand, and as the sand cooled, it would have formed glass, which ended up in King Tutankhamun's jewellery, said Boslow. The necklace holding a one-inch oval glass piece is housed in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. It was one of hundreds of items discovered by the British archaeologist Howard Carter in a tomb in the Valley of the Kings in Luxor. In his diary, Carter described the brightly coloured gem as greenish-yellow chalcedony. However, in 1999, Italian geologists tested the chemical composition of the scarab and concluded it was not chalcedony, but natural desert glass which is found only in the Great Sand Sea, 500 miles southwest of Cairo. Many meteorite craters can be seen only from space, so satellite photography experts examined the area. Farouk Elbaz, director of the Center for Remote Sensing at Boston University said, if this glass is a meteoric origin, then there should be a crater of that age, but we did not find a smoking gun for silica glass there. Chunks of glass were discovered in 1932 by Patrick Clayton, a British surveyor operating in the desert with the Egyptian Geological Survey. He ran into this funny area with this glistening stuff all over the place, said his son Peter this weekend. Next year, an exhibition will be held in London, showing for the first time many of the pieces found by Carter. And this was actually published on the 25th of June, 2006. So really interesting, and I find it interesting because I always love any information about the scarab beetle. The scarab beetle is a really interesting insect because it does not actually have color produced by pigment, 
which is how color is produced in nearly every living creature on this planet. Instead, the scarab beetle, like the peacock, uses structural color. And that's basically the way it refracts light. Now, I think that the scarab beetle wasn't revered only because it was seen as pushing dung and they somehow relate that to it pushing the sun across the sky. I find that really insulting to the highly intelligent ancient Egyptians. My thoughts are that the scarab beetle is basically symbolizing something to do with light and how when light changes, we change. Anyway, I found this really interesting and I just wanted to bring it to your attention. So the article will be underneath the video and you can check that out for yourself. And as always, peace out.